comes in handy. So without any more wait, let's start this session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video on IoT boards and industrial IoT by IntelliPath. But before we move on to the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. IoT is one of the most widely used technologies across the world and hence having a detailed knowledge of their various boards always helps someone who is into technology. So without further ado, let's get to today's agenda. What is IoT? Statistics on IoT. IoT. How does the industrial IoT work? What are IoT boards? Type of IoT boards? And finally, mainstream companies using industrial IoT. Let's go to our first topic. What is IoT? The term Internet of Things refers to the billions of physical devices that are now connected to the Internet and collecting and sharing data all over the world. It's now feasible to turn everything from a pill to a jet into a part of the Internet of Things thanks to the advent of super cheap computer chips and widespread availability of wireless networks. Connecting all of these diverse products and attaching sensors to them gives devices that would otherwise be a dumb level of digital intelligence, allowing them to convey real-time data without involving a person. The Internet of Things is bringing the digital and physical worlds together to make the world around us smarter and more responsive. Let's go to our next topic, Statistics on IoT. Let's check some of the current scale of IoT. There are more IoT devices than people in the world right now. There are approximately 7.74 billion connected IoT devices in the world right now. Households have 10 connected devices on average and will rise furthermore, although every household is predicted to have 50 connected gadgets on average right now. Smartphones, speakers and 5G will have a big impact on how we manage and interact with our homes and companies. Statista even predicts that by 2023, 5G technology would power 1.3 billion mobile IoT devices contributing to Internet of Things network to internet for the first time per second. Consumers are now more connected than ever before with a 127 gadgets connecting to the internet every second and thus now there's a surplus of devices causing more traffic than ever before. Finally, let's check at a graph of the projection of active IoT devices till the year 2025. It's estimated that the number of IoT devices will increase to a massive 30 billion by the year 2025. Now let's check our next topic. How does industrial IoT work? There are essentially four steps involved in the working of IoT, which are sensors and devices. To begin, sensors or devices gather data from their surroundings. It could be something as simple as temperature report or something as complex as a full video feed. Because several sensors can be packed together or sensors might be a part of a device that does more than just perceive things. I'm using the term sensors or devices. Your phone, for example, is a device with several sensors, camera, accelerometer, GPS and so on. But it is not just a sensor. Various connectivities. The data is then delivered to the cloud but it must find a means to get there. Cellular, satellite, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, low power wide area networks or LPWAN and connecting directly to the internet via Ethernet are all options for connecting the sensors or devices to the cloud. Data Processing Software processes that the data once it reaches the cloud. This could be anything as basic as double checking that the temperature reading is within a safe range. It could also be extremely difficult such as identifying things, computer vision on video, etc. Such as intruders in your house. And finally, user interface. Following that, the data is made in some way valuable to the end user. This could be done by a user alert through emails, text, notifications, etc. For instance, when the temperature in the company's cold storage is too high, a text alert is sent. A user may also have access to an interface that allows them to check in on the system in advance. A user might, for example, use a phone app or a web browser to check the video feeds in their home. Let's go to our next topic. What are IoT boards? IoT boards are simply hardware constructions that are used to create models of the designer's creation. Today's market offers a diverse selection of IoT boards. 
boards. With so much industry engagement, the quantity of the design boards available for IoT is staggering. Onboard Wi-Fi routers, infrared, various communication protocols, and several general-purpose input or output pins for sensor interface are accessible on many microcontroller panels, daughter boards, chip boards, and application-specific ICs or integrated circuits. Let's go to our next topic, types of IoT boards. Now, let's take a look at some of the various types of IoT boards and explain each of them in a more technical manner. So let's get into some of the most frequently used IoT boards, which are the Giant Board. The Giant Board is the first single board computer in the Adafruit Feather Form Factor, and it's a serious piece of OSHW or Open Source Hardware Association designed to take advantage of the Adafruit CircuitPython Blinker modules. The Giant Board also comes with Debian Linux pre-installed, and reflashing it with nerves will take our favorite embedded Linux platform to a whole new level. Arduino Uno Rev3. It is an open source microcontroller board designed by the tech company Arduino based on the microchip ATmega328P microcontroller. To get started, simply connect it to a computer with a USB cable or power it with an AC to DC adapter or battery as it comes with everything that is needed to support this microcontroller. OSD32 MP1. This is a one-of-a-kind integrated circuit or IC comprises an STM321 MP CPU similar to our prior board but it goes a step further by combining the RAM power management IC, EEPROM storage and other functions into one neat package. If we want to undertake rapid prototyping for a PCB exclusively, that revolves around the Octavo SIP, we'd utilize this board. The BeagleBone Green Gateway. This OSHW excels for custom IoT gateway development since it comes pre-equipped with all of the necessary networking features such as Ethernet, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Low Energy. It was created by the Seed Studio in collaboration with BeagleBoard.org. Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. The latest model of Raspberry Pi 4 Model B brings with it a more powerful Broadcom BCM 2711BO quad-core ARM processor and the 4K capable Broadcom video core VIE video processor along with the move to a faster USB 3.0 ports and USB Type-C for power. Simple Link Wi-Fi CC3200 Launchpad The Simple Link Wi-Fi CC3200 development kit is a test platform for the CC3200 wireless microcontroller or MCU which is the industry's first single chip programmable MCU with built-in Wi-Fi connection. And finally, the BeagleBone Black. For developers and amateurs, BeagleBone Black is a low-cost community-supported development platform. With just a single USB cable, you can boot Linux in, in about 10 seconds and can start developing in less than five minutes. As a result, it's a powerful foundation for creating internet-connected systems such as the IoT, cyber-physical system, sophisticated user interface, touchscreen applications, and more. Let's go to our next topic, mainstream companies using industrial IoT. There are innumerable companies from various industries that make use of IoT or some form of its variations. For now, let's take a look at three big name companies who make use of industrial IoT to enhance their production and increase their revenues. Airbus. Airbus is collaborating with IBM's Watson team to gather additional data on its flights and operations on the ground. The firm will gather about 250 GB of data every trip on its A350, which is a flight, as a part of its new Smarter Fleet platform with the information anticipated to improve not just the in-flight experience but also the aircraft operations and maintenance. The Internet of Things is revolutionizing the aviation sector by making passengers' journey more frictionless, enhancing operational efficiency and ushering in a new era of connected aviation. The Internet of Aviation will investigate the importance of IoT to individuals involved in passenger experience and e-enablement 
through early adopter case studies, interactive workshops, and panels. Caterpillar Caterpillar has already been using the IoT technology to automate its factories and has manufactured a range of heavy-duty equipment complete with IoT sensors for several of its clients who are already seeing a notable increase in efficiency and productivity of the sites they are deployed on. And finally, Magnustair. Magnustair is one of the smart automotive manufacturers. Their primary target sector or their main niche can be identified as smart factories. Factories. Namely, they use the industrial Internet of Things applications like tracking assets such as tools and vehicle components with pinpoint accuracy and more. So that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable the bell icon for further updates. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath is providing hot training mentored by industry experts, the course link of which is given in the description below.